given the graph of the function f of x, find the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the right. That's what this plus sign means here, is from the right. I'll write that down as a note. The limit as x approaches some value c, and with a plus sign, that means from the right. So you're coming in from the right-hand side, which is why these are called one-sided limits. So I'm coming in like this. Here, x is 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's where x is 4. All along this vertical line, x is 4. And if I trace right along this function, coming in from the right, getting closer and closer to x equaling 4. So I've got x equals uh, 4.5 and 4.3, 4.1, 4.01, 4.0001, closer and closer, and even though there's a hole here, so we're, we can't say exactly what uh, the function is when x equals 4, it's undefined because there's a hole there, but when x gets very close to 4, very close to 4, from the right-hand side, we're getting a value, a y value of 1 there, y equals 1. So I'm going to say the limit of this function as x, x approaches 4 from the right is equal to 1. So switching to red for coming in from the left. So this doesn't mean negative 4. It does not mean negative 4. It means that if we have the limit of a function as x approaches some number, this negative sign after the number means from the left. And that's how we will see this, like you're just walking along on this function from the left. So you're coming in from the left-hand side, and it looks like I'm going up, but actually what I'm doing is I'm progressing along this x value. Progressing along the x value, and when I do that, the y value increases in this particular area of the function. So I'm progressing, getting x larger and larger from 3.5 to 3.6, 3.7, 3.9, 3.9999. I'm not getting to 4. I'm just getting very close to x equaling 4. And when I do that, get even very, even closer, y is 1. So I'm going to say that the limit of this function as x approaches 4 from the left is equal to 1. The function, the function evaluated at 4 would not equal 1. The function evaluated at 4, when x equals 4, the function is not defined. But the limit, the limit of this function as x approaches 4 is the same, is the same from the left and the right. And so therefore, the function, function as x approaches 4 is equal to 1. So let me write down a note there. If the limit of a function as x approaches some number from the right equals the limit of that same function as x approaches some number from the left. If those are equal, then the limit of the function as x approaches that same number, c is just some constant here, it equals those other two, and generally that's called L, so I'll, I'll write that, L, some, some numerical limit. Okay, let's talk about this next example. I'll switch colors to green, because now we can see we're, co we're taking the limit of the function as x approaches negative 2. Now the negative sign in front of the number does mean that it's a negative, so negative 2, but this again we've got the plus sign after the number, so that means it's coming in from the right. So we're coming in in this direction, and along the graph that's going up just like that. So as x approaches negative 2 from the right, it's getting closer and closer to negative 2. Uh, it looks like the y value then, y equals, in this case, negative 1. So the limit of this function as x approaches negative 2 coming in from the right is equal to negative 1. However, coming in from the left, 
the limit of the function as x approaches negative 2 from the left. That's this negative sign after the number. So x is coming in this way or along the graph just like that. And we're getting closer and closer to negative 2 from the left. Well, in this case, y equals positive 1. Well, we only have this. We can only say that there exists a limit at the number when these two are when these two are the same. So I'm going to write down right now um, this limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left. That does equal 1, what we found there. But in the end, the limit as x approaches negative 2 does not exist. So I'm not going to write it an equal sign, but does not exist, abbreviated DNE, does not exist. So there are a couple of examples of uh, one-sided limits. And just as a bonus, let's talk about one more, just so you can get a, a feel for what it means to write a limit. Let's look at this point right here. And just take a guess of what x is approaching at that point on the graph. Say so a limit of the function as x approaches what? Well, it's, it's as x approaches 0, because all along this line, x is 0. And we could do, do 0 from the right, and we could do z uh, approaching 0 from the left, but I am going to just talk through that. Coming in from the right, the, the limit of the function equals negative 3, and coming in from and coming in from the left. The limit of the function equals negative 3. So the limit, the limit then of the function as x equals or as x approaches 0 is equal to negative 3 because those from the left and from the right are the same.